this awesome opportunity to be a voice daily within the workplace, within our communities, within our families, and so forth. And uh, yeah, I, ho I hope that this encourages you to realize and to know that the king actually has one more move. This country has not gone to the ditches. Mm -hmm. God has a plan for this nation. If you go and look and see all the prophetic words and prophecies that were spoken over South Africa, that she's going to be a trumpet into the rest of the world. She, uh, she's going to be the breadbasket of Africa. So many incredible prophecies. And we're not seeing those come into fruition. Yet we're seeing glimpses here and there. But yet there's something so beautiful about this place. And we can genuinely make a difference within this country, make an impact for the glory of God uh, with the life that all of us live and I mean some people think it's like okay does that now mean I must start like a, a non-profit or does that now mean I must become a pastor it just means like wherever you find yourself just be a blessing there <laughs> yeah. it literally means that if you go to KFC and the lady standing there by the thing just allow God to speak through you to that particular lady if it means just you know moving I don't know, the, the cone in the parking lot for the old lady that's trying to find a parking space. It literally is just these small little things begin to accumulate over time and consistency begins to compound over time, right? So I hope that this just, yeah, hopefully sheds some light on some stuff and that we can all continuously just grasp the perspective that God has because, and my hope for everyone inside this room is that you would begin to understand and see how much He loves people, how much He genuinely loves people. Like even the people that you despise, right? Like he loves them. Doesn't mean that you must now become best chummies with them or whatnot, but it does mean that you pray for your enemies and go the higher road and walk the narrow road moving forward because it's a beautiful place to live on. And I remember a last thing I want to share with you. <laughs> God sh shared with us before, you, you, should, you, should always take the, you should always go the extra mile because there's not much traffic there. Yeah, there's not much traffic there. So always, always go the extra mile. Because remember, at the end of the day, when, we, when I mean, I, I, one thing I'm, I know that's going to happen to me is I know I'm going to die. Okay? And that's the case for every other person. That is a part of, of how life works. And what's fascinating about funerals is that they don't say how much money was in your bank account. They don't say, talk about what car you drove. They, no, they might, they might talk about the car you gave away. They might, they, might, they might talk about the impact that you had made. I remember my, my grand's funeral. No one spoke about what was in a bank account. Right? Nothing wrong if there is a tremendous amount of stuff in your bank account. I think all of us would love to have that happen, right? But it's about the impact that you leave. Because people remember how you made them feel when you had that engagement with them, when you spoke to them, because you actually spoke to them with dignity, you spoke to them with respect, or you, you, know, you, you did it, you were just, there was something different about you. And that different, that differentiating fact that for us all is Christ. Mm. And if He lives in you, and He loves people, at some point that's going to show.